What's going on out there, Giants fans? Well, all football fans. I'm Johnny Pena Sports. Today, I'll make an NFC East video. I've done this the last few weeks. I mean, <laughs> the NFC is really starting to tighten up. It's looking like a two team race, but we're getting a good idea of how things are going to play out. So let's take a look at the NFC East teams individually. I'll give my opinions on where I think they are. And at the end of the video, I'll summarize and tell you who I think will win a division. I do think is definitely still a race and you know I'll talk about how you know how maybe two teams from the NFC still might make the playoffs so I'll start with the Eagles Whew, and where do I start I guess I'll jump in with the quarterback benching I mean it's, it's a situation that I can't say I've seen before I mean Wentz just I think next starting next season his contract extension really just starts kicking in and the Eagles have decided to bench him I mean, it's bizarre. The, the O-line is decimated, and Wentz is running for his life out to plays. The play calling has been dreadful. The team is actually successful when they run the ball, but the coach refuses to run it. I think the Eagles should become like a run-first team, just like the Giants, until the O-line can improve in pass blocking. But I don't see that happening. The head coach is a stubborn fucker. And to be honest, I don't think there's many quarterbacks in the NFL that could start on this team and, and be successful, to be honest. And, you know, Philadelphia needs... I think they, all, they need all new front office and potentially head coach. Last game they threw Jalen Hurts in, <laughs> and he looked okay. I guess he made a couple nice throws, but I don't see a way to get out of the Wentz contract for years, for at least two years after, you know, starting this year and year after. I mean, I haven't properly researched this, but I had an Eagles fan tell me in a comment section that if the Eagles were to trade or cut Wentz, it's a $39 million dead cap hit. Jesus. And the Eagles are going to be at least $60 million over the cap next season. It's crazy. This is crazy. Their GM needs to go. I mean, I've never seen a team so far over the cap. If, if someone knows of a similar situation or a similar team, please let me know in the comments because it's just nothing is coming to mind. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if the, if the Eagles are even going to have money to be able to, under the cap, to sign their rookies, like their rookie class. Do they have to like do they have to pay a luck like a luxury tax if they can't get under the cab? I'm confused and somehow intrigued uh, how this is gonna turn out. But enough of that, anyways. Uh, I'm out on the Eagles. I mean, th their season is. I got a lot of friends who are Eagle content creators and just a lot of friends who are Eagle fans, and I just I, they're they're done. Their season's over. They're cooked. And you know, I, I, at this point, if I had to predict, I'd say they're going to struggle for years until they can fix their cap situation, figure out what the hell they're doing with their quarterback. Anyways, 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 on to Dallas, and oof, I mean, that's not much better, is it, right? The Cowboys have had what? Just a disastrous season, and it's 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 just they only got worse against the Ravens, so th their season is obviously over too. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been over. It's been over for weeks. I've said in previous NFC East videos that. I think Jerry Jones will fire McCarthy after the season, and I stand by that. I mean, I'll, I'll jump for joy. Listen, I'll jump for joy if he brings him back. But Jerry's got to see it. Listen, Jerry is many things, but stupid isn't one of them. So I'm kind of interested if Dallas will, will bring back Dak or draft a quarterback because they're going to have an early pick in the draft. So that, that'll be interesting to watch. And there's all kinds of stories about the NFC East this year and next year. So it'll be fun to watch. There's just, well, there's just not much to say about Dallas. Their defense is historically bad. It's awful to watch. <laughs> um, it don't help that 90% of the players on the defense are not a scheme fit and the coach don't adapt. You can't just run in with a scheme. You have to adapt. You gotta, you gotta build a defense around what your players are good at. And Mike Nolan's a disaster. So I'm I'm out on the Cowboys. Uh, hopefully they can improve next season, so we can see like some good matchups between the Cowboys and my Giants. Because you know it is nice when they're both good teams. I think the Giants will be a good team next year. It is it is uh, fun to watch good Giants Cowboys games when they're both good. So on to the Washington Football Team. And I just had a feeling about them last week. They're playing really good right now. I mean, congratulations to all the Washington fans. They've suffered as much as us Giants fans as of late. And they deserve a win like that. They really do. And they took it to Pittsburgh. And in the, especially in the second half. I mean, I was watching a game with my wife. And I was saying that the Steelers don't start running the ball. They were going to lose the game. I mean, you can't win throwing the ball 60, 70 times a game. You can't. I mean, not very often at least. Um. I'm giving all the credit to Washington. 
they played great defense. Alex Smith made the throws at the end of the at the end of the game that he needed to. And you know, I've been down the Steelers in my mind, but I'm still gonna give Washington all the credit. And that that game, but you know what that game told me? They ain't winning us. Pittsburgh ain't winning a Super Bowl this year. It ain't happening. Not unless they can actually start running the ball like a normal damn team. It's just like every play they're in shotgun. Yeah, shotgun. But anyways, off of that, I could talk about that for an hour. But Washington is a threat to winning this division. <clears throat> they really are. And they got a much easier schedule than the Giants. The Antonio Gibson injury is a big blow. It's a big blow. That hurts. Peyton Barber. I mean. He isn't a guy I would want to be my starting running back. He's good for a backup. But if he has to start the rest of the way out, I mean, McKissick is a decent third down back. That's good. That helps him on third downs. Uh, I mean, Washington might have to throw a little more, I guess, in the next few games. Which I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, Washington protected Alex good enough in the Pittsburgh game. Now, can I, can I keep doing that? Because we've seen what happens this year when Alex Smith gets pressure in his face. He makes he makes bad decisions. So I was thinking six, like a few weeks ago, I was thinking six wins could take the NFC East. But the Giants might need to win three of these next four to win the East. Uh, that's how good Washington's playing. So if I heard someone say that, that two teams in the NFC East would have eight wins even a few weeks ago, I think they were crazy. So on to the Giants. Uh, huge win in Seattle, but the fun is just starting. I mean, there's some tough teams coming up on the schedule. Arizona Bulls are not playing good right now, but that could change. That could change at any moment. And Cleveland is definitely the, like the best team left, I'd say. It's just it's just going to be interesting. And they can run the ball. They're very similar to the Giants in a lot of ways. So right now, the Giants and Washington are both playing at a very high level. Um, if I had to, if I had to choose who's going to win the NFC East, I think I'd still go with Washington at this point. I know that sucks, it hurts as a Giants fan, because I honestly believe the Giants are playing better at the moment, and have been much better team the last, I don't know, six, seven games. But it's about who the team, at the end of the day, it's about who you play. Who's left on their schedule, who you gotta play. At the moment, Washington has got a way easier schedule. I mean, there, listen, there's a, there is a path, though, for both Giants and Washington to make the playoffs. And who would have thought that a month ago, right? I mean, right now the Cardinals and Vikings are like uh, sixth and seventh in the seeding. So the Giants can win against the Cards. I mean, if, if you want if you want to get in as a wild card, that's a must win next Sunday. And then you finish with a better record. Or even, you know, it doesn't matter if they win that division or not, you know. They'll get in. They'll get in. And I'd love for two teams from the NFC East to get in the playoffs because people have been mocking the shit out of every team in this division. And, you know, rightfully so for the most part, especially earlier in the year. Earlier in the year. But I think <clears throat> the Giants and Washington can do damage in the playoffs. So this is just a crazy year. I mean, I, I kind of get I figured it was going to be with all the COVID stuff going on. And, you know, no offseason with all these new coaching staffs coming in. So I think what you're seeing now, we would have, you know, from Washington and, and, and New York, you would have seen that way earlier in the year. If it was just a regular off season and then uh, preseason and all that OTA, I didn't. I don't think they had any OTAs or anything, so the rookies couldn't even get in and, and get the, get at the playbook earlier. Whatever, I'm just rambling on. Anyways, that's it for me. Unfortunately, as a Giants fan, because I really, really, really want, I really want the playoffs this year. I don't know why. I never thought that I would want playoffs this hard, and I want it for this team. Because, you know, what? Hey, this ain't the first year of rebuild. This is coming up on this uh, end of a second year of rebuild. I want it. I want the playoffs. I'm not going to be brokenhearted if we if we lose it. And I'm still going to feel good about next year. Well, depending on how the last how these last four games look. It could be god-awful, I guess. But right now, the Giants defense is playing as good as anybody in the NFL. They might be playing at their area. Yeah, they... I'll say it. They're the best defense in the last four weeks, last month. They've played as good as anybody in the NFL. So if they can keep that going at the end of the season and say the offense still struggles, I'll still have high hopes for next year. And I think the Giants are going to be in the playoffs next year and for the next few years until some of these you know, good young players got to start getting big contracts. I'm going to say they're a playoff contender. So anyways... I said I was done rambling. I'm still rambling. That's it for me. I'll have another week, one of these next week, and maybe the things will change. San Francisco's tough. Maybe San, Fr San Francisco goes in there and beats the hell out of Washington, and we stomp Arizona. Maybe I have a whole new uh, feeling about the division. So that's it for this one. Peace out, y'all. Like and subscribe. Stay safe.